हाय, आई एम रवि रवि हांडा फाउंडर ऑफ हांडा का फंडा डॉट कॉम एंड वेलकम टू द डिस्कशन ऑन द कंप्लीट कैट सिलेबस नाउ व्हाट आई हैव सीन इज दैट अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल हैव लॉट ऑफ इश्यूज विद व्हाट द कैट सिलेबस एक्चुअली इज समटाइम्स दे डोंट इवन नो व्हाट आर द टॉपिक्स दे आर कवर्ड समटाइम्स दे डू नॉट नो व्हाट शुड बी आइडियली द प्रायोरिटी ऑफ द टॉपिक्स व्हिच इज कवर्ड एंड दैट is what i am trying to focus in this particular series of videos so i'll probably have three or four videos in which i will get into complete detail of what the cat syllabus is and what are the various priorities and what are the chapters covered what are the topics covered and stuff like that to begin with in today's video or in this particular video we are going to look at the sectional breakup as in the two sections which are asked in cat which section contains what then we are going to have a look at what is the breakup of the quantitative aptitude part what is the breakup of the verbal aptitude part and then we will have a look at the various topics in which your cat syllabus can be divided into so let's begin first of all there are two sections in cat section 1 and section 2 that is what the pattern of the paper was in cat 2014 section 1 covered 50% and section 2 also covered 50% it is assumed that this year also the same pattern of 50 50 split would be followed but what did that section 1 contain what did that section 2 contain section 1 had quantitative aptitude and data interpretation quantitative aptitude had a total of 34 questions whereas data interpretation had a total of 16 questions on the other hand section 2 had 34 for verbal and 16 for logical reasoning now a very very common mistake that i have seen a lot of people make is that cat is just about quant and verbal there cannot be a bigger mistake please try and understand that quant is important i'm not denying that verbal is important as well but the lrdi part is almost equal in weightage but we don't study like that or at least most of the st students do not study like that if you look at this particular pie chart if you combine the lr and di part that is probably as big as the verbal part and as big as the quant part but most students don't study that way probably this is the first pointer or the first thing that you should keep in mind in your preparation that the amount of time that you are dedicating to quant and the amount of time that you are dedicating to verbal that is probably the same amount of time that should go to lr and di if you do that in your prep you will be able to perform well in the exam also please note no one asks you what was your percentile in quantitative aptitude no one will ask you whether you cleared the verbal cut off or not the college is interested in whether you cleared the section 2 cut off or not whether you cleared the section 1 cut off or not so when you are preparing even when you are giving mocks or whatever it is you are doing with respect to cat prep keep in mind that you need to perform well in section 2 you need to perform well in section 1 so basically what i'm trying to say is that let's say if you master data interpretation if you do really really well in it and let's say if you are even okay in quant that's good enough and you can still get by let's say your grammar is horrible and you are not going to score very well in verbal but you can compensate for that by doing good in lr keep these points in mind that is how you need to target your preparation that is how you need to focus your preparation it should be directed towards section 1 section 2 and the sections rather than just quant and verbal maybe if you do that you'll thank me later now let's try and understand that what exactly is quantitative aptitude so here is the split for quantitative aptitude quantitative aptitude can be further divided into five broad areas and what are those five broad areas the five broad areas are number system which gets roughly asked for five percentage points of five marks arithmetic for seven algebra for eight geometry for eight and modern maths for six marks but once again what i have seen people who are preparing for quantitative aptitude the amount of focus that they put on something like number system is probably the highest in quant that should not be the case 
please understand that number system is the least important category when it comes to the math preparation or the quant preparation if you see geometry and algebra are a lot bigger and they have always been a lot bigger it is not just cat 2014 or cat 2015 or cat 2008 geometry and algebra have always had a bigger number of questions than on number systems arithmetic is also really really important then we talk about modern maths which will essentially have stuff like sequence and series permutation combination and stuff like that that's also important but the amount of time that students give on number system is way too high don't make that mistake once again i am not saying that number system is not important obviously it is important it's five questions and you can't even skip one question in the exam or at least in your prep but the focus should be directed this way that geometry and algebra take a lot of your time after that you give importance to arithmetic and after that probably modern maths and number system should come into the picture keep these things in mind when you are preparing for quant when you are trying to do well in quant as to where your focus should be let's have a look at the split of the verbal aptitude section now verbal aptitude i have broadly divided into three categories one category the biggest category is reading comprehension if you notice reading comprehension has 16 questions that is as big as the entire di part that is as big as the entire lr part as a matter of fact to students who are not really good in verbal i tell them that boss you need to score well in section 2 you don't need to score well in verbal please understand no college has a verbal cut off they have a section 2 cut off and so if you can do well in rc and if you can do well in lr you can kind of ignore the entire verbal part and for doing well in rc you may be good in grammar that helps you if you are good in vocab it helps but it is not necessary even if your grammar is poor you will still be able to do good in rc even if your vocab is not really good and you don't really know a lot of word meanings still you will be able to do good in rc so that is what you should focus on and that is how your prep should be structured so once again when people are preparing for verbal i've seen them neglect the rc part they think of it as something that they will do maybe in the exam with the help of a few mocks they'll practice 20 rcs they'll practice 100 rcs before the exam and get done with it please don't do that a lot more preparation is required for rc rc should get its due credit the remaining part of verbal so verbal aptitude is total of 34% out of which 16 is reading comprehension 8 is pure verbal ability and 10 is verbal reasoning so what exactly is verbal ability and verbal reasoning well we'll deal with that in a lot of detail in one of my later videos in this particular series but to just to give you a brief idea anything which has got to do with vocab or grammar or basically your knowledge of the english language that comes under the verbal ability category and as you can see that is the least important category reading comprehension as you can see is the biggest the second biggest part of verbal is verbal reasoning so what exactly is verbal reasoning verbal reasoning will have questions on para jumbles they will have questions on para completion they will have stuff like summary they will have stuff like fact inference judgment now once again to write a good summary or to pick a good summary or to arrange sentences in a paragraph or to complete a paragraph for any of this you don't really need to have a very good grammar you, you don't really need to have a good vocabulary it helps i'm not saying that it you should not have that all i am trying to say is that it is not necessary so once again if your english is not so good you can probably prioritize rc a lot more than anything else your second priority should be verbal reasoning and then maybe you can think about verbal ability so keep these things in mind because frankly speaking no one cares what your split is if you score a 16 out of 16 on rc and 0 in verbal reasoning and 0 in verbal ability that is probably as good as scoring 4 in verbal ability 4 in verbal reasoning and 8 in reading comprehension because at the end of the day what matters is what is your total score so keep these things in mind and also keep these things in mind when you are preparing for verbal 
because when you are preparing for verbal what i've seen is that a lot of students focus on vocab they try and mug up word lists they download specific apps for vocab that should be done it is a good thing but not at the cost of preparing for rc your time is limited you need to prioritize so you need to prioritize rc lot more than verbal ability and verbal reasoning keep these things in mind when you are preparing for verbal aptitude and finally just to give you a summary of what all topics are there so number system algebra arithmetic geometry and modern maths these combine to give you your quantitative aptitude part quantitative aptitude and data interpretation they combine to give you section 1 very similarly rc reading comprehension verbal reasoning and critical reasoning and verbal ability they combine to give you your verbal part verbal part with logical reasoning gives you section 2 and section 1 and section 2 combine to give you the entire cat syllabus that is what we have been talking about in this particular video so i sincerely hope that you learn something from this video you got an introduction to what the cat syllabus is all about and in the future videos what we are going to do is we are going to get into a lot more detail of what exactly does number system contain what exactly does algebra contain what are the kind of questions which are going to be asked in logical reasoning so please be on the lookout for more videos from us for more blog posts from us and if you have any feedback about this video or anything else in particular that you would like to know about use the comment section this is me ravi handa signing off hoping to hear from you thank you